how in your niche do you compete against your competitors in your marketing when your competitors will say absolutely anything in order to get clients or in other words when you know and I know or anybody that has experience in business and it's not their first rodeo we know that they are over promising because here is the really important thing to realize they're doing their thing they're on their journey and we're doing our thing and we're on our journey but it can also at the same time really frustrating and this is something that I have a lot of first hand experience with and today in this short video I'll explain exactly how to compete against this type of aggressive marketing and not only win clients but win the good clients with the right expectations that get amazing results and allow your business to grow. We'll cover value system marketing and we will cover stage of development alignment. Two things really quickly and how did we learn this? Well look I started my business back in 2017 and we originally started in LinkedIn lead generation which is a red ocean of people making a lot of promises and my competitors who I perceived at the time to be my competitors would make crazy promises like 53 appointments in one week I saw at one time or within 48 hours you'll be getting appointments unlimited clients done for you business all this sort of stuff and, and look it's, 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 it's also important to realize is this possible probably yeah it's possible but I'm not interested in marketing my business on what's going to be an exception in terms of results I want to market my business on what's going to work for most of the people most of the time and the first one first thing is value system marketing because it's important to niche in the right way and, and this is not a video and this is something I had to learn the hard way and we're not going to cover all the basic stuff like your message could not be compelling unless it's specific you've got to have a demographic dialed in demographic what's a demographic you're going to be talking to the right age the right niche you've got to be positioned around a problem we're not going to cover all of that today that's covered in other videos and that's pretty much marketing 101 but what a lot of people miss is how do you align to a value system and let's start off by defining a value system values are the deepest things that as human beings we believe and if we break down psychology if we break down behavior we believe certain things to be true and we all as humans when I say we I'm talking as humans and we also believe other things not to be true some of this comes from science some of this comes from our upbringing some of this comes from religion some of this comes from all sorts of different sources but I'm not talking here about no like and trust because marketers like to repeat that phrase. They say things that you've got to be known, known, liked and trusted or they say you've got to be a trusted advisor. But what does that mean? To me, it means and the way I always think about this and, and this is what I recommend you do is you've got to align your value systems and you've got to market to a value system with your language, your symbolism, your imagery, your copy the way you bring yourself across, the, the setting, the way that people feel about you and recognize you, they need to really know that this person has my values. And, and here's how we do it. If you've seen any of my paid advertisements, we've been doing it a long time, people always message me and they go, Mark, you're selling B2B. Why have you got a picture with your wife at the swimming pool? Mark, you're selling B2B. Why have you you're got a picture with your daughter Sienna at her birthday party? Mark, why have you got family pictures at a Joe Dis Do Dispenser event with your wife? And I'm like, because that's my market. And they're like, what do you mean? You're selling B2B. No, I sell to people who have family orientated values and I just happen to sell B2B. My marketplace, when I look around my, my, my program, they're all of a certain age, they're solving a certain problem, they do a certain thing, but they all are family orientated individuals. I lead my marketing with values because a value is much more powerful than a promise. If you wanna stand out in 2022, align all your marketing around value systems. Uh, for me, it's family. For some people we've had through the program, it's been political allegiance. Others have spoken about religion and marriage. 
Others have positioned in many different ways around what they believe to be true in life, spirituality. We've had all sorts of different, extreme, not so extreme value systems. But the common denominator is the people that were successful were able to convey to the marketplace who they are, what they believe to be true, and what are their value systems. And guess what? They got people that came to them who were ideal clients, who were prepared to listen to them and felt that they trusted them. And, and there's a really important point here, just before I finish and move, move on to the next point, which is stage of development. You can't do this for the sake of doing it. That is to say, you can't say, I want to be controversial. There's a lot of people on social media, we all know they're being controversial for the sake of being controversial. But the problem with that in the long-term game, again, this is something we, we learned the hard way is, if you're being controversial, it's not really you, you're going to attract people to that version of you, which is not really you. And when you're attracting people that's not really you, you're not going to have a great long-term relationship because it's a kind of bait and switch. So you, I'm not saying you need to be unashamedly you because I think it's all strategic. I'm saying that you have to really, really communicate the value system because that's what you believe, not because it's what you want your market to believe. I, to the depths of my soul, want my son and my family and my daughter, Sienna and Paola, to have the family stability, to have the, the, the um, education, to have, the, have experiences that I didn't really get to have when I grew up. And that is my driver alongside client results. The second thing that you do need to have in place that's really, really, really important, especially in this day and age, is you really need to make a decision about who you target and the stage of development they're at in terms of your field of expertise. If you're in business growth, how much experience do they have in business? If you're in leadership, how much experience do they have leading a team? If you are in spirituality, how much experience do they have in that niche? Let's run with the example of business. I know that if I target people who already have a business, they've already been up, up, had a few of the ups and downs. They know if it's not working for them, it's working on them. And they need to see problems as a gift. They need to expect a roller coaster. They need to adapt and adjust and, you know, go with the ebbs and flows and not get upset if things don't work within 24 hours. I know that if I target that market, they're going to be great clients for me. I also know that they'll listen to a slightly more, less hypey message because at the end of the day, if you're brand new to business and you've never run a business, the prob probability is you're going to listen to my competitors. They make all these crazy promises, leads in 24 hours, done for your business, 53 appointments. And it attracts this type of client who hasn't maybe experienced the realities of business. Now, I'm not saying it's not easy to build a business because let me define easy. It really depends on how you define easy. And I define easy as number one, is it achievable? I.e., can I do it? Can you do it? Yes, you can. Anybody can, can build a business if they do the right things, they focus on the right things, they build the right skills. It's just a matter of time, focus and energy. So number one, is it is it achievable? And number two, is it achievable in a reasonable time frame? To me, that's six months or 12 months. Within six months, you can make a material shift in the fortunes of your business. What I'm not saying is that, what I'm saying is for most of the people, most of the time, it's not going to happen in 24 hours or 48 hours. My market, because they've been through the rodeos, they've been through the ups and downs, they will resonate with that and they won't be a they won't respond to all this crazy stuff in the marketplace. So that's really, really important. And let me add in a, a third one. So we've covered the value system marketing. We've covered stages of development, which I deliberately avoid people getting started. Number three, just remember, if it's not working for you, it's working on you. If you're experiencing these frustrations, if this is happening, it, as it happened to me, I recognize that it's just pushing me in the right direction. It's allowing me to adjust. It's allowing me to adjust the business and it's a gift because it's not that nothing's not working it's just that i'm getting data on what doesn't work so that i can find what does work so if you're competing in that field try these things and have a wonderful day